In more than two dozen cities across the country today, marches, uh, marchers are participating in anti-Sharia law demonstrations. But law enforcement officials are bracing for possible conflicts with counter-protesters. Brian Yenis joins us from one of those march locations in New York City. Hey, Brian. Hi, Elizabeth. We're in front of City Hall here in Manhattan in New York City, and it is the site of dueling protests expected across the country. On one side, you have Act for America, which is against Sharia law, and on the other, you have more radical left groups and those who are saying that those groups are racist and anti-Muslim. Right now, we just had an arrest, actually, of a protester over here. You can see the NYPD has positioned itself and come in. There's a man that has, uh, that was, has been tied up by the NYPD. We're unsure if there are going to be any more arrests, but this is the scene that's happening. Now, just a few agitators. This is the only arrest we've seen all day. We've been here since 10 a.m. And again, this is a product of what you have when you have these dueling protests. These Act for America group is a large, what they call national security advocacy group, and they're doing protests in 28 cities in 19 states. And as a result of their move to go against Sharia law, which is the Islamic law, they believe that Sharia law is something that is indoctrinating people to become extremists. They believe that Sharia law is anti-woman, anti-human rights, and that is why that initial group across the street, and that is why Act for America decided to do marches against Sharia law. Well, once these other groups heard that they were doing it, they, they showed up, and they plan on showing up to all these protests across the country. It's really a dichotomy of two minds. One says we're not anti-Muslim, we are anti-Sharia law and anti-extremism. The other side, though, says, well, you are anti-Muslim and anti-Islam by virtue of being anti-Sharia law. And so that is what we're having here. It is really um, an example of what we're seeing around the country in terms of one side is legitimately the pro-Trump side, which is across the street, and the other side, which is the side here where the police officers are, are the anti-Trump side. And so there are multiple different things being discussed here besides Sharia law. Yes, Sharia, anti-Sharia law, but it's also pro-travel ban and pro-Trump. And on the other side, it's leftist groups and also socialist groups, but also pro-immigrant groups that view the other side as completely racist. And so this is the kind of dichotomy we will be seeing around the country. And the NYPD has been doing a good job, if you can see it. But uh, yeah, we'll keep an eye on it for you guys. Leland? All right, I'll take it, Brian. You're just reporting live. Thank you so much. We appreciate it. A lot going on.